the world of fine art, great masterpieces bring great prices. In fact, there's so much money in the trading and selling of serious paintings that it's very important to make sure that what you see is what you get. This painting is by the Venetian artist Canaletto. And we know this because it resembles in style and form other works by the same individual. These days, increasing numbers of excellent copies of masterworks are appearing, and more sophisticated tests are needed to discover and authenticate genuine works of art. Umberto Molina is the kind of super sleuth in the world of fine art. A former pilot, he has now dedicated himself and his near photographic memory to the world of the masters. His ability to spot and authenticate obscure masterworks has gained him a worldwide reputation. When Umberto Molina appears at auction houses like Christie's or galleries like Konagi in New York, he's apt to be on the trail of something special. When we go to an exhibition of paintings, uh, the first thing I do is glance around the room and uh, I sort of don't know why, but I have this knack for spotting what really, as we see in the trade, smells well. And I'll walk over to it, and if the quality is superb, and it's particularly interesting for the period of that painting, that bears investigation right away. The gems usually stand out anyway, but whether they're authentic is another story. I have an old adage I use in my business, when in doubt, do without. But what does this appreciation of art provide for you? Well, it provides a sense of enjoyment, and the greatest part of the business that I'm in, being an art dealer, is bringing great paintings like this to light so that the general public can enjoy them. Instead of them being lost or obscured in some attic or something, they were brought to the enjoyment of the whole nation or the world. Well, this is a very nice uh, Camelotto Clovis. What period do you make it? Bringing great works of art to light for the general public means being exceedingly well-educated in art history, knowing the galleries, and knowing when the important auctions are coming up. During a busy week, he will look at close to 1,000 paintings, confer with important dealers, gather information, as well as go to a handful of pre-auction showings like this one at Christie's. Bert, when you come to a place like Christie's, what are you looking for? Well, we come to the, uh, see the bins before the paintings are put up. Many times we get more information from the back of a painting than the front. We can tell if it's been sold before, when, the price, and what year, etc., etc., and it helps a great deal. Okay, here's a painting. Uh, look at the immediately, back I look, right? yeah, I'll look at the back because uh, this is by J. F. Crops, the American, 1823-1900, and it gives an old collection which can be referred back to, and the picture is referred to it in the Encyclopedia of Painters and Paintings. That's very important. Here's a, also a handwritten label, which gives some provenance to the painting and a previous sale number possibly. I can see from the back that it's been relined and restored. So right away I ask myself why. And the point is we look at it. And if we like the painting and want to investigate it further, we'll check it with ultraviolet light or get our restorers to check it to see if there's any additions or subtractions from the painting or it's virtually intact as he painted it. When Bert thinks he's made a discovery, very often he'll take his purchase to the conservation lab of Julius Lowy on New York's west side. Conservator Joe Battaglia oversees cleaning, restoration, and occasionally helps Bert with his sleuthing. This is a good example of the kind of work we do here. What you're looking at basically is a painting that's been partially cleaned. In doing so, we've removed some overpaint, exposing what you see here as white spots, structural losses, and abrasion of the paint layer. However, before we, went, we attempted even to clean the painting, what we did was examine it first to see why and what was underneath the overlay. At the time of the sale, the painting looked like this. Notice the eyes of the female figure, open and staring blankly. Joe and Bert suspected that the picture had been overpainted, so they took an x-ray. What they discovered was another painting, the original, underneath, with the eyes of the Madonna half closed. It was cleaned, and now the original is awaiting restoration. A minor painting of obscure origins turned out to be the work of an important Renaissance painter. What they say in the old days is an expression that bed restorers have ruined more paintings than all the wars in history. And good restorers have survived some of the greatest masterpieces in the world by their diligence and good work. After a tough day making the rounds, Bert heads home to do even more investigative work. With the help of son Robert and an enormous library of art catalogs, 
He does his homework too. It must be said that Bert's success is based on an overall approach to his business. It is a combination of things that give him his edge. Is a sense of humor important to what you do? Well, I, I find it so. I have a lot of fun. For instance, every picture I look at, I can put a subtitle under. Uh, it may be comical and whimsical, but that keeps me going through the day because I find titles for all the pictures. You what know. subtitle would you put under this? Well, this, of course, is uh, a portrait of Napoleon after his defeat at Waterloo writing his memoirs. And I would call this, Where Did I Go Wrong? What do you say when you, when you see a truly great painting? Uh, I don't say a word because then it's awe-inspiring. Uh, when I say something, it's usually whimsical because it's a piece of junk. <laughs> but when I see a great painting, I usually keep quiet. And, uh, and uh, out of respect to the artist, I, uh, I look at it. Now, I might say mamma mia in my head, you know, but uh, when you see a great painting, you have to respect where it's coming from, who made it. And that's awe-inspiring. A glow comes over your face. Any known art deal in the world who looks at a great work of art, you can see it in his face. Well, on the face of it, Umberto Molina, or Uncle Bert, as he's known in the business, is having a wonderful time treasure hunting, as he calls it. So the next time you go to an auction where they're selling paintings and a large, white-haired, bespectacled man starts to bid on a picture, keep your eye on it. It could be a Rembrandt. You never know, but you can be sure Bert Molina does.